Hey, we're out here today in Southern California at EC Aluminum Polishing, and we're gonna show everybody how to take a, a wheel that looks like this. Uh, it's dismounted off of a truck, and we're gonna show you how to bring it back to a mirror shine. Okay, we're gonna start out here. Prior to start starting the polishing process, we're gonna have to sand this wheel. So we got this guy starting out with a 150 grit sandpaper. And we're gonna try and knock some of the big stuff off before we get into the polishing process. There's not gonna be a lot of wheels you're gonna encounter that are in this rough of shape. But once in a while you are, and we're gonna show you how easy it is to bring it back to a shine. All right, now we're gonna start the machine polishing process. Start with heavy cutting. He's got a Zephyr Blue Baron wheel on there and the 87 stainless bar rouge. It's gonna be for your heavy cut. Anytime you have to sand a wheel or any aluminum, it's best to start with a heavy cutting wheel and a very heavy cutting rouge like Zephyr's 87 stainless bar rouge. It's got a 320 grit emery in it and it's gonna help you get the job done a little bit quicker. Remember, you don't wanna push too hard. You wanna let the wheel and the rouge do the work. Now Chewy's gonna go into what's called primary cut. He's gonna use Zephyr's fast cut buffing wheel with the Tripoli Bar Rouge. Normally, if you don't have to sand the aluminum prior to polishing, this would be your first step, primary cutting. we are already seeing a big difference in this wheel from when we started. All right, we just completed the primary cutting stage. As you can see, it's bringing out a pretty good shine. We're gonna move right now into what's called secondary cutting. It's gonna use the Zephyr purple wheel with uh, the green chrome rouge. Remember, you want to run these wheels not to exceed the Zephyr's recommended RPM. All the wheels are marked with uh, the RPMs on them, not to exceed. And also, let the wheel and the rouge do the work. Don't press too hard or too light. Okay, now we're gonna go into the final finish. He's using a 10 inch 60 ply cotton wheel with the white chrome rouge. And you wanna remember anytime you're doing machine polishing, 
You want to wear gloves and a face shield and some type of respirator. Now you're starting to see that mirror shine. All right, that we just finished up the final finish stage with that 10 inch all cotton 60 ply and the white chrome rouge. Now we're gonna move in. A lot of guys like to use a, a flannel wheel to finish it off with uh, one of the platinum series rouges from Zephyr. And we're gonna show you the flannel wheel with uh, the Moss Jewelers Rouge. This is gonna put the show quality shine on this wheel. Okay, you see we're done with the final finish stage. Now we're gonna move into the final wipe down with uh, Zephyr's Pro 40 Perfection Metal Polish. This is uh, the product that's really gonna put the mirror shine on this wheel, plus it's gonna protect it for a longer period of time. With the Pro 40, all you gotta do is shake it up real good, wipe on, wipe off, and you're gonna have a beautiful mirror shine. And you can see by that, we got a beautiful mirror shine on this wheel. Look at the difference between where we started and what it looks like now. It's a metal mirror.